Some people have proposed mechanistic activities. They call it uh, practic practices, practical exercises that should help everyone to become someone else. And what we're facing today is that it's a big failure. It didn't work. We are really facing an incredibly difficult situation as un mankind. Nature is being destroyed. Our security is being destroyed. The sensation of togetherness is being destroyed. And everyone, many, are feeling more and more isolated, alone. And are hoping to reach kind of togetherness, which is most of the time an ideal, and we make an image out of it. We try to pursue the image. And what we see is that there are different points of view, different schools. And today the schools are, are not, are more or less fighting already. Some points of view are really bringing almost soldiers Spiritual soldiers, they used to call them like that in India in many years, many centuries back. That a kind of truth should be spread and a kind of knowledge should be convinced to others. And this has led us to this today's situation. When we are talking about spirituality or meditation, we have to be very, very, very careful. Because up to now it has, bring, it has brought a lot of troubles everywhere. So we are not talking about any organized processes, any organized, let's call it religion but a religious mind which has nothing to do with organized religions and organized institutions. It is very important to be free of all these institutions and in fact we could say that that meditative state of mind has pretty much to do with the quality of freedom. Now, is it possible to live a life which is free? For many of us, when we are saying such a thing, we think about being free from organizations, from politicians, political ideas, religious ideas, economics, uh, material position. Now, we have been trying this for millennia. Never worked really. Now, what we mean by freedom is, is it possible to be free from our conditioned mind. That is, all of us, when we are born, very, very quickly, we are accumulating knowledge which is given from the others, from the environment. And we try to conform, conform ourselves to the society as it is, or as we understand it. This is one of the main points of conditioning. Trying to be as everyone else. It's a very deep question, because as a young child, how can we stay free from the conditioning? 
And there's this big, big question of love. If the little child does not, that's what he feels. He feels that if he does not please his parents, if he does not please the adults, he might lose love. And this is one of the big, big points of the conditioning process. It is, is it possible to, to be trustful <coughs> to nothing? Possible to be trustful to nobody? I'm not saying that the world and people are bad, not at all. I'm just putting that question, is it possible to be free from the conditioning? What do you feel about that? Do you feel this is possible or not? No. Yes. Uh -huh. Are you sure? To some extent. Yes. Uh -huh. To some extent. Now we are getting. Uh-huh. Now, the question is not to say yes or no. Uh, because, of course, if you say no, we have to question. Why do we think it is not possible? And if you say yes, we also have to question. Where is that answer coming from? How do you know? I'm sorry? So if it comes from the conditioned mind, we're still in the same gel. You know, the, the answer is coming from the same gel. It is coming from the same conditioning process. We have to be very, very careful when we're talking about uh, being free from the conditioning because it's a big, big, big trap. We've been trapped into that most probably since millions of years. Once again, it is not... It has nothing to do with personal people. It has not to do with global, universal. <coughs> because universal is just a big addition of the personal. You know, as mankind, uh, we are just individuals, which is making mankind. So the whole mankind is, is not different from individuals. Indiv mankind, individuals, we are mankind. <coughs> but for many of us, when we're talking about mankind, we're thinking it's outside, that we are not part of it. In fact, we are not part of it. We are. And for, for realizing this, you have to put aside all the conditioning ideas. How can we put aside the conditioning ideas? We don't have much, we don't have many tools for that. The only the sharper tool we have is thinking. Because you can go and do physical exercises or concentration or all this thing that you can find on the market today. It doesn't solve the problem and it is not solving the problem today too. Some people say we need time. We need time to get rid of the conditioning. Did you ever question that? Do we really need time to get rid of the conditioning? It's obvious that we have needed time for being conditioned. 
this is okay. There's no big question for that. Because we know how the conditioning is working, operating. It is through repetition. You know, you, something you repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat until a particular intensity makes you completely conditioned to the thing you have repeated. You, you understand that? Is that clear? Yes. yes. Now, if you do the same with these so-called spiritual exercises, it is the same process, repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. And it will lead to the same result, conditioning. It has very little to do with the thing you are doing. What you do has very little importance. I'm not saying that it is useless. I'm saying that it has very little importance regarding <coughs> the state of freedom. Whatever we do, most of us, doesn't help at all. We think that if we, if we travel, or if we have a good social position, or if we become well known, or if we have a lot of money, or if we go to surgery and change the whole body, we'll, we'll feel free. But there are millions of people who are doing that, and it doesn't work. So it doesn't have much to do with what we do. The idea of becoming is completely depending on the idea of time. You know, for becoming we need time. So if we want to become better, we need time. If we want to become worst, we also need time. Now if we want to be free, how long are you ready to wait for? You know, if you, if you really ask yourself, how, how long shall I give to myself to become free? Will you find an answer to that question? Yes. Yes? How I long? Tell us, how long no do you mean? Huh? I'm sorry? No time at all. I am free now. So this is another point. Uh, we'll, go in, we'll go into it. But once again, if the idea is to become more beautiful or more this or more clever or, or more stupid or more rich or whatever, for that you need time. And of course you don't know at all the end of the story. You can, you can change your whole face going to surgery. It will last longer, but you will become, you will lose your beauty. So you can go back to surgery. <laughs> <coughs> now, as you said, freedom has nothing to do with time. Either we are or we are not. But we will not be. Where does this sensation, where does it come from? The sensation that right now I'm free. What is the source of this sensation? We said before, it is not possible for this sensation to come from the past. The conditioning. 
Because the conditioning is always keeping us in jail. In psychological jail. What is the source of freedom? Desperation. I'm sorry? Desperation. Uh-huh. Desperation. When we go into that, uh, which is, I would say, 100% normal, I would say that people who are not desperate cannot be free. I mean, facing life and facing the world, if there is no sensation of being desperate, it more or less means that we are not facing reality. And one of the reasons we are not desperate is because we are painting the world in pink or red or blue or yellow through the way we look at it. And we look at it through our beliefs or through our hopes or through the past always. Yeah, of course, through the conditioning. Conditioning is all that. So, is there a quality of desperation which lit like a fire, an energy, something which is stronger than any thought, than any project, any ideas, any past, you know, this power of life. For many of us, when we are desperate, we don't go into that. We, sometimes we think about suicide.